African-American citizens figured prominently in the building of Greer. The first African-American church in Greer was Bethel Methodist Episcopal Church, founded in 1882 by the Reverend Benjamin Robinson. In 1887, Reverend W.B. Cheney and Brother David Holsclaw organized Maple Creek Baptist Church. The congregation of Bethesda Temple posed in front of their church on Broadest Street in Sunnyside. Well-known evangelist Daddy Grace held revivals at the House of Prayer in Sunnyside Community. The Reverend James Roseman was a pioneer black minister who founded 50 churches in upstate South Carolina. He was born on a plantation in 1820, was baptized in 1845, and began his ministry in 1851. When he died in 1902, he was buried at St. Matthew United Methodist Church. St. Matthew United Methodist Church was founded by the Reverend James Roseman in 1866. It was first called Taylor's Methodist Episcopal Church. One day I was walking My Lord, it was down the lonesome road Where the Spirit spoke on to me Lord, and it filled my, my heart with joy, joy, joy. joy. One day as I was walking, my Lord, it was down the lonesome road, and he said, I, I do thank God I'm in his care. African American schools often were built beside churches. The Taylor's Colored School adjoined the property of St. Matthew United Methodist Church. This was the second school building. The earliest known African American schools in Greer were Maple Swamp School in 1900 and Bailey View in Greentown in 1906. Dunbar opened in 1924 and educated students from first grade to high school graduation. The old school was replaced in 1955 and became an elementary school. During integration the name was changed to East Greer Elementary School. Lincoln High School opened in 1955 as a junior and senior high school for black students in Greer and Taylors. Later it became the Foothills Vocational School. Wayne Foster was the first African American to graduate from Greer High School in 1966. Like their white neighbors, African American men were farmers in early Greer. They owned farms or were sharecroppers. This record book kept by A.B. James, who farmed both in Greer and Lyman, records the cotton that he had ginned. African Americans helped Bill Greer. Edward Mosley, an expert brick maker, was responsible for the bricks for Victor Mill. Professional jobs for African American men were minister, teacher, and undertaker. 
R. B. Sullivan came to Greer as principal of Bailey View School. In 1948, Warren H. Sullivan established the Sullivan Funeral Home. In the Need More community, Mrs. Blanche Thompson started the Thompson Funeral Home. The strength of Greer is its families. The Reverend Joseph Carver Durham and his wife Denver Alley Bivens Durham own 30 acres near the South Tiger River. A teacher, minister, and farmer, Joseph Durham reared 14 children who all became successful citizens. There were four African American neighborhoods in early Greer. Needmore, Maple Creek, Greentown and Slabtown, now known as Sunnyside. Stella Austin Cox and her grandson, Billy Broadus, in front of their home in Sunnyside. The Cox family with roots in Greer exemplifies the strong ties of family as they gathered for a reunion. Businessman Willie Rowe is a fine example of the successful business owner in downtown Greer. Mr. Rowe began working at the Dixie Shoe Repair in 1963 bought the business in 1982 and retired in 2005. His success was based on his expert skills and his friendliness to all who entered his shop. 